What is up, water signs? <laughs> Coming in hard with the death card. Nine of cups, so, so we're clearing the way. And the hair thing. Interesting. Something that uh, I had a conversation with someone this morning and a lot of times we try to use our psychic powers in non-psychic situations. You ever see like uh, The Emperor's New Groove or like one of these movies with like the artists, like whatever it is, and they're like, no, the conditions have to be just right, the temperature has to be this much, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. Because you gotta get in that thought. Right? You gotta be in the energy to be a psychic, right? So if you're not in that energy, then you can't use that power, you know? It's like in a video game, if your special meter isn't full, then you can't use the special attack, you can't do a special combo, right? What you can do is build it up. So, let's find out how we can build our energy. Do we have to let things go? Are we in the process of doing so? Let's find out with our first water sign. We have Cancer's Queen of Wands energy, large Sagittarius. He told Sagittarius is that they need to chill out. So water signs might be time to turn up. Um, not turn up and like yelling at people and this that, and the other, but just being more aggressive towards your dreams. A lot of times we let life pass us by, hoping that. People are just gonna magically give us what we want. Which, again, can happen if we communicate it. When I was out on the trail and, you know, didn't have food and this, that, and the other, I would sit and meditate and I would talk to people, right? And they would go, oh, how's your day going? Oh, it's great, this, that, and the other, a little hungry, but I'm figuring it out. And I'd be like, oh, really, you're hungry? I have too much food, can you take some food from me? I didn't even ask, yo, can I have some food? I said, I'm a little hungry. They said, I got too much food, right? But I communicated it though. And I was actively working towards my goal of gaining food from that day, right? Now, we have, maybe it's not food. Maybe it's love. Maybe it's a connection with somebody, right? If we're not actively working towards that, if we're not actively even working towards our environment, hey, maybe somebody comes in and they just mess up your energetic space all the time, and we're just so used to it. Like someone coming in, and you might have just cleaned, spent the whole day cleaning or something. They come in with some muddy boots, and they throw their bag over there, and their jacket over there, and their socks, and this, this, and this. And they leave food out, and this, this, and this. And instead of telling them, like, hey, bro, get your stuff. I just clean up. You tripping right now. We go, okay, let me clean up, because this is how something. No. If it irks you, communicate it. That's the short one. We're going to move on. To Scorpios, yeah. You already know. You already know. The High Priestess in reverse. Again, I really feel the water signs. This reading is going to be about why our psychic powers aren't really snapping like they should be, right? Maybe we've turned them off. I've been thinking uh, there's this time when you, you spend so so much time at a lower frequency that you forget what it even feels like to have a higher frequency. And that's kind of what's going on in the world today, that people have been depressed for so long that they forgot what it even felt like to not be depressed. They just know how to have a moment from their depression, right? In reality, they should exist in that happiness, exist in that frequency to where depression, you know what's, you know something that's really, really interesting? There's some cultures that don't even have a word for depression. People are just happy and chilling and living their lives that when you get into the culture, you're like, hey, depression, you know, like when you're just in a funk and you're just sad for a long time and they go, no, if you're sad, you go sit in this igloo or something and you figure it out. 
you know? But here, Western culture, everyone's so used to being depressed that even, all right, so here's the thing, being honest with myself, that it's hard to talk to people. I was realizing when I walk over here that being a dragon and being happy and like glowing and dancing and this, this, and this, oh my God, the amount of frustration that you get from people or like, hey, how's your day going? Oh, it's awesome. I've been doing this, this, and this. I've been really been grateful about boom, 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 boom. How's your day going? Oh, this, 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 this. So then you feel like you have to communicate what's wrong with your day. Like, you can't talk about what's right with your day, right? People get mad. You feel the energy. So now it comes in. Oh, yeah, I had these dreams and, you know, I realized them, blah, 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 and I'm constantly working towards it. Oh, yeah, that's so nice if I could do that, or boom, 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 or this and this and this and this, and in reality, we gotta push that energy to the left. That's where I feel the death card is coming in. We feel like we're being so nice to people. But in reality, we're not being nice to ourselves. And people aren't even being nice to themselves. Right? They're not being nice to themselves because they're constantly living in this low frequency where everything is negative. Right? So them pushing out negative energy is harming themselves and others around them. And they can't even connect to a higher frequency because they're always putting out negative energy. Right? So it's time for us to realize that that might be something that's going on. We need to start communicating. You know what's right. That's what the Hierophant card is saying. You know what's right. You know what the vibe is. You know what success is. If you're not there, then it's time to communicate it. And it's time to fight for it. We got the Pisces. And I pulled the Pisces card for the third time. We have four readings today. We came up three times. So again, it's... We're heading into Pisces season. If you guys think it was tough now with this full moon, wait until we get into a water season and you just feel all your emotions. And if you're not communicating them or actively working towards that, then it's going to be another month where we're in depression until we forget what we even were depressed about in the first place. And then we go out and da 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 da. But those emotions are still going to be there. You can run, 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 run all you want, but once you stop and you breathe a little bit, shadows right there like, Meh, right? You still got to deal with this. And if we haven't dealt with it and we're trying to constantly bury these things, they're going to come up. So again, water signs, one more time. It's time to listen to their emotions. Specifically, we got Pisces showing up for Pisces, right? We haven't had that happen. We've had a little flip-flops. We have a little da 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 But we haven't had the sign saying, hey, for Pisces, I want you to be more of a Pisces. I want you to listen to your vibe and be happy and realize what it means to feel good, how it feels to feel good. You know, a lot of times we forgot and just get lost in the sauce. We get lost in everyone else's emotions. Hey, this person's angry all the time, so I'm just used to them being angry. So, um, for me, it, I don't want to be happy because if I'm happy, then they're going to be grumpy. And if I'm happy and I start dreaming towards, you know, my goals or wanting this to happen and it doesn't, then you just get more disappointed, right? They said this in Spider-Man, like, if you're always preparing for disappointment, then you can't get disappointed. But that's not a way to live. Follow that intuition and realize what it is causing the disappointment, what is causing the risk in our water and our energy. Then we can do something about it. But until then, fill it out. Get a detailed list of everything that hurts, you know? And when you can figure that out and cross the things off your list, then you can succeed. But until then, you know, just good luck and many blessings to you. So that's our reading at 936. whatever <laughs> um either way thank you guys for tuning in um water signs you know the truth it's really interesting we got the the hierophant the high priestess which are pretty the same pretty kind of the same cards there's some differences but 
High Priestess, the Hierophant. Kind of the same energy. And then you got the Queen of Cups, which is Pisces, big strong on intuition and all of that. So we got to have the death card. We got to let some things go in order for us to get in the vibe. If it's messing it up, then it's time to just get out. Right? It's all love. They're not going off the earth. It's just... Hey, some energies just need to connect with some energies. And if you're a high frequency, you definitely need to connect with a high frequency. Um, especially if these lower frequencies can't even handle the truth or what comes. When people get in my energy, the tower card is going to happen. They're going to happen. They're going to lose this. They're going to boom, boom, boom. Because this is what the universe is preparing you for your dream. You know, if you're not prepared for your dream, then... How can you achieve it? So that's our reading. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, information in the bio. And um, if you want to know more, you can follow me on Instagram, send me a message. Um, and uh, comment below. We'll get back to you. And um, yeah, to check out all our other adventures and the free water home movies about us living in the frequency or attempting to through life's circumstances uh, but yeah definitely figuring it out along the way so thank you guys till next time love and light stay light stay woke